we have a maker challenge for you. Design a carnival game and incorporate lights, sound, and scorekeeping using a micro bit. In addition to all the cardboard or other materials you'll be using, for this project, you'll need a micro bit and a USB cable, alligator clip wires, and if you have one, an LED light strip. Visit code.brilliantlabs.ca and create a new project. Next, we'll pair the micro bit to the computer so that we can easily download code to the micro bit anytime. Click the three dot menu and choose connect device. Follow the prompts to connect. Let's test the connection. From the basics drawer, drag a show icon block into the forever loop. Press download. If your micro bit doesn't show the icon after a few seconds, you might have some troubleshooting to do before you move forward. Now that we're connected, let's hook up the LED light strip. The wires do need to be attached in a specific way for them to work. This first code sample will make the LED strip show a rainbow of colors. By changing the code, I can make the rainbow move across the strip. Let's take a step towards making our game. This micro bit is coded to light up when the two wires touch. To do this, attach one alligator clip to pin one on the micro bit. Attach the other to the ground. There's already a wire here from the LED strip. It's okay if the wires touch each other at this spot. We'll have to make some adjustments to our code for this. We'll need the input block for the on pin pressed. Don't forget to change it to pin one. This is where you get to choose what happens when the two wires touch. By adding this block to show color black, this is how we can turn the light off while we wait for the next point to be scored in the game. Don't feel like you need to copy my code for this project. Just like writing and art can be ways to express yourself, so can coding. Be creative with it and check it constantly to make sure that it works how you intended.
now to add code so the micro bit keeps score for us. A variable is a number that doesn't stay the same. Temperature is variable, it's always going up and down. Time is also variable, and so is the score in a game. We need to create a variable block for our code. Go to the red variables drawer and create a variable. Name it score. We'll need to set the score to zero when the game starts, and every time a point gets scored, it should change the score by one. Or maybe in your game, the score changes by five. Let's also add code so the micro bit is always showing the score. How about adding an option to reset the score as well? Let's take this another step closer to our cardboard game. I want it to be so that when the ball hits the top panel, it will count a point and light up. This is one way that it could work, but how would you do it differently for your project? We can't wait to see what you make. 